John, how much confidence do you take out of that not going into the World Cup? Yeah, look, it was nice to spend some time out in the middle. Um, but more importantly, I thought we played really well as a team today. I thought the bowlers did a fantastic job on that wicket. And um, mm. I thought the way uh, Zampa bowled uh, on a smallish ground was fantastic. And it was nice to spend some time out there and um, you know, bat with the, um, Smithy as well. So yeah, it was a good day for us. How's he going out there? It must be you've got a good seat to watch him bat. Yeah, no, it's, it's certainly the best seat in the house, isn't it? He's going fantastic since he's come back in, and it's great to see him come back in and score some runs, and um, yeah, no doubt he's ready for a big tournament. What do you talk about as you putting together a partnership like that? Uh, oh, not much. I don't really speak too much out there, but um, <laughs> no, look, it's great. He's obviously got a great understanding of the game, and um, you try and feed off that, so um, yeah, look, he's been fantastic um, you know, to bat out there, to, you know, out there today, and I've always enjoyed batting with him, so it was good fun. You notice Good. any differences from obviously before his bent in terms of the way he plays? Not really, no. He's just come back in and um, just done what he usually does in that score run. So it's fantastic, like I said, to have them back, both back in the team. And, um, you know, they're both really va valuable players for us. You had a good uh, tour here last year, two centuries and runs here again today. You must be kind of confident that playing in English conditions, you kind of do a job for the team in the, in the first... Yeah, look, it certainly does give you confidence, uh, knowing that you've scored runs over here in the past. And um, yeah, as I said, it was just nice to spend some time out in the middle and um, get my feet moving. And um, yeah, it was nice. So it was good fun. What, what about the English condition suits you? Why do you play so well here? Oh, I'm not so sure. Um, yeah, look, I, I enjoy batting out here. It's obviously a different challenge. Um, we get to probably a little bit slower to back home, but um, yeah. you know, it swings around a little bit. So no, they're a good challenge. And um, yeah, as like I said, it was just nice to spend some time out there today. Does Smith look like he's lost any form since he's been away? He seems to come straight back into it. I think he has. Yeah, he's been. As I said, he's been fantastic. Um, yeah, since we arrived in New Zealand for our camp and the way he batted up there, and um, to come out there and bat like he did today was fantastic for us. What does it do for the team to have players like him and Dave Warner back in ahead of this World Cup in terms of your confidence and your belief? Yeah, obviously. Yeah, um, really great for our confidence. They're two world-class players, so um, to have them back in our team is fantastic. And um, you know, it's been a great few weeks uh, with them. Um, as I said, up and started up in New Zealand and, and the first week here, so it's been great. Do you see your, your role purely in the middle order, or, or have you had discussions that you might be able to go to the top as well? Yeah, look, I'm not too sure. Um, I'd like to think I'm nice and flexible. I've batted from yeah. uh, one to six throughout my career, so. Um, yeah, look, I'm just going to enjoy the, uh, the next two practice games and, and try and uh, spend some more time out in the middle and see what happens. Will you play both of those? I'm not too sure. I um, haven't had that discussion yet. We'll, we'll find out over the next few days um, you know, what, what's going to happen with that, but you know, we'll see what happens. Do you, do you think those guys will cope, obviously, when there's a crowd and a bit of flack coming? I, I think so, yeah. Um, you know, we, we sort of brace for it. We know what's coming, so um, we'll stick together and um, you know, we'll stick together as a team and um, be, be ready for it. I know it's one or two, one or two claps for the for the half century. You thinking you guys can turn that, turn those crowds around at some point this summer? Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll just focus on what we uh, we are here to do, and that's play well and and, and win games for Australia. And um, we'll try and not worry about all the other stuff. What can you do? How can you help them in difficult situations? I think just be, be there for them, um, make sure you're um, looking after them and um, that's something that's really important to us as a playing group, making sure that we're, um, we're all looking after them and, and uh, just being there for them. It seems like from the outside it's probably yourself or Usman for a batting spot in the, in the starting 11. Is that the way you see it? Oh, look, to be honest, I'm, I'm trying to not think about it too much, um, just worry about these next two practice games and then the selectors will pick a team and we'll go from there. What was your reaction to when he got hit today? It was a bit of a scary moment. Yeah, it was. It was very scary actually. Um, it copped him on the side of the, the, the cheekbone, I think. So um, yeah, I'm not too sure what's happened with him, but I think he's okay. So that's the main, main thing that, that he's okay, and um, hopefully he'll bounce back pretty quickly. And how, how did he look, kind of coming off? Um, yeah, look, I thought, you know, obviously a little bit shaken when, when you know when you do get hit in the head, it's, it's you, you do get a little bit shaken by it. But um, you know, Aussie's a tough, tough cookie, and he'll be fine and, and ready to go, I reckon. Bowlers are going to be kind of needed to yeah, as I said before, as I said at the start, I thought our bowls were fantastic and um, they really led from the front uh, right from first over and um, all the quicks did a great job and as I said before, I thought um, Zampa was fantastic on a, on a smallish ground and um, yeah, he bowled fantastically well. England next over there on Saturday, will that show you where you are a little bit more than today? I think it's going to be a great challenge. Obviously, the number one team in the world, so um, yeah, they've been in great form, and like you said, it's going to be a great challenge, challenge for us. And I guess to see where we're at. A lot of short balls bowled today. Was that a tactic that kind of had to do with the wicket, or is it something you're, you're looking at um, into this World Cup? I think a little bit with the wicket. Um, it was a little bit poppy out there, and, and some sort of stuck in the wicket a little bit. And I thought we utilised that really well, and um, yeah, so the West Indies. So 
Um, I'm sure I'm sure when we get on better wickets, we'll, we'll come up with sort of different games plans, but I thought it worked really well today. Is this something you got up your sleeve, though, considering you know, it's probably a faster attack than most of the other teams you'll play against? Oh, definitely. You know, obviously, we've got Starkey and, and uh, Pat Cummins and, and uh, Nathan Coulton Isle, who, who are all fast bowlers and, and you know can use, and use the bumper really well, and they did that today, so it was fantastic to see. Sean, it's been a, a tough few months for Mitch. How often do you speak to him, and, and how's it going? I speak to him a fair bit. Um, he's going well. He's really fit at the moment. Um, pr probably the best shape I've seen him in. So um, you know, he's looking forward to getting over here with the A team and and hopefully getting some runs and wickets.